Welcome back friends. This is the continuation of the last video on Fiber Optics System Detailed Interview Tips. So, let's get started. Fifth question can be on ISP and OSP installations. ISP stands for inside plant and OSP stands for outside plant. Let's see what are the common question for inside plant installations. In telecommunication, the term inside plant is used for all the cabling and equipment installed in a telecommunications facility, including the main telecom racks, PABX or central office equipment, structure cabling system, LAN, WAN, CCTV, access control and grounding systems. Questions can be on cabinet types, fiber patch panels, connectors and patch cords including fiber testing and troubleshooting. Now, let's see OSP. According to Building Industry Construction Service International, BICSI, OSP is any network infrastructure installed external to the buildings. Fiber can be laid underground or overhead. Question can be what is the maximum bending radius of the outdoor fiber cable? The answer is 20 times the outer diameter of the cable. Another question can be what is OPGW and its application? An optical ground wire is a type of fiber cable that is used in overhead power lines. OPGW combines the functions of grounding and communications. Another question can be on fiber underground cabling. There are armored and unarmored fiber cables for outdoor installation. Armored cable can be buried directly in the trench for underground installation. Proper sand bedding and backfilling should be carried out as per the telecom standards. Unarmored cable can be installed using air blowing technique through HDPE duct. Air compressor of more than 7 bars pressure and pneumatic or hydraulic blowing machines are used for fiber cable blowing. Question 7 can be, what is launch fiber and its purpose in OTDR testing? The launch cable, sometimes called a pulse suppressor or dummy fiber, allows the OTDR to recover after the test pulse is sent into the fiber. Launch fiber is used to create the proper conditions for testing another similar optical fiber for faults. This method avoids undesirable variations in loss and distance measurements. Question 8 can be on fiber optics splicing techniques, OTDR testing and troubleshooting. The most popular fiber testing method is fusion splicing where splicing loss is less compared to mechanical splicing. Mechanical splicing does not permanently join two fibers together. Instead, it precisely holds them together, enabling light to pass from one fiber to the other. Testing of fiber cable, OTDR testing and power loss testing. An optical time domain reflectometer, OTDR, is a device that tests the integrity of a fiber cable and is used for the building, certifying, maintaining, and troubleshooting fiber optic systems. Power loss test in fiber is the most accurate way for fiber testers to measure the overall optical loss in a fiber link. Source meter injects a known level of light in one end and the power meter measures the level of light at the other end. Question can be asked on troubleshooting a fiber optics link. You should know the use of visual fault locator, OTDR trace reading and fiber cleaning kits used for fiber link loss troubleshooting. Question 9 can be, what is SFP and what are the applications of SFP in fiber network? Small form factor pliggable, SFP, is basically a fiber optic module that fits into an SFP socket or port on an Ethernet switch or Ethernet media converter. It facilitates seamless conversion of Ethernet signals into optical signals to transfer and receive data. Another question can be on types of SFPs which are single mode and multi mode SFPs. SFP modules are distinguished by their bandwidth capabilities, wavelength, and distance capability. I will make a separate video on how to select SFP in fiber network. Tenth question can be on fiber network concept. You must understand the basic fiber access network and its components. One optical fiber can carry 90,000 television channels and 3 million voice calls. Data can fly through fiber optic networks, which can also transmit light over very long distances. Applications of fiber optics network. Fibers are used to connect LAN and WAN networks of a small to large industries. FTTH, fiber to the home, network uses fiber as a backbone. Mobile towers are using fiber for connecting towers, base stations and master control stations. Oil and gas industries are using fiber for faster and reliable communication from control center to the remote sites. Moreover, fiber network is used for CCTV, access control, intrusion detection and leakage detection in oil and gas pipelines. 
I will make another important videos on how to prepare fiber link loss budget, how to select SFPs for your fiber network. I will provide some important online fiber certifications websites. So, just drop a message or contact me on Instagram, Twitter or Telegram. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, do not forget to hit like and subscribe button, so you do not miss my future videos.